Hi, my name is Sam Danish Shekharan and welcome to this database lessons video series. In this lesson, we will talk about what is Oracle instance versus what is Oracle database. The differences, the difference between Oracle instance and Oracle database. Okay. So, as I described in the previous couple of videos, Oracle instance is a collection of Oracle memory processes. Okay, when we start up Oracle, the first stage is always to start an Oracle instance. Oracle instance starts a couple of background processes also, like checkpoint, log writer, db writer, server monitor, process monitor, pmon, smon processes, and then it sets up the memory for system global area which contains you know shared pool large pool and other uh, sections okay so basically this is what an oracle instance is it's always uh, the first part of an oracle startup when you start up an oracle, uh, an oracle database the first thing that gets started is an oracle instance and then which basically runs maintenance i mean uh, oracle background processes and uh, also sets up the memory so once the instance is started up we open the database okay oracle database is a collection of files that are located in the hard drive Okay, it contains control files, data files, online redo log files, archived redo log files, which is optional, and temporary files, which are used by temporary table spaces. I'll explain what's a table space and everything, but then right now, uh, you know, you need to understand is control files data files, online redo log files, archived redo log files, temporary files. So the concept is this. Basically, using the Oracle binaries or Oracle software, we start the Oracle instance. Like we started the notepad uh, by clicking the notepad uh, icon. And then using the process that was started, like using the instance that was started, we open the files, we open the database which is collection of files. So that's the difference between Oracle instance versus Oracle database. Thank you.